everyone. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm sure that I look exhausted. Sorry, I gotta rest again. Um, now that I can um, walk, I walk using my crutches. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. The littlest things take so much effort. I feel like I'm worse than I was in the wheelchair. Um, I, don't, I haven't worked it out yet. I haven't worked out whether it's flaring or um, just... I mean, I suppose I'm being hard on myself, as we all do. I didn't walk for seven weeks. It's a long time. So I guess I'm using muscles that I hadn't used in a while. So yeah, I'm exhausted. Um, tomorrow morning I go to see my doctor to discuss the latest CT that I had yesterday. Um, I suppose just to see the healing progress as I had said in yesterday's vlog. Um, it, they said that it hadn't fully healed or it hadn't healed. I can't remember the wording. So yeah, um, I have a feeling that tomorrow he'll just say that it's time to go to the physio and to start having physio sessions so that's okay the only downside to that is the doctors and the physios half an hour away from me and obviously I can't drive yet so I have to get someone to take me the whole process is exhausting you know getting to the car half an hour drive getting into the doctors or the physio getting out Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm hoping a good night's sleep. <laughs> it's so funny. Good night's sleep, what's that? Just, minis don't have good night's sleeps. Um, yeah, I have a feeling my meds are gonna kick in quite early tonight um, because I find that when I feel like this, my body seems to, I don't know that they seem to work faster or something. You can never work it out. Um, so yeah, I will vlog tomorrow the the results, I suppose, what my doctor says. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. Just felt like I needed to tell someone I'm tired because I'm home by myself as usual. Um, so yeah. I will see you tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow, the next time I vlog, my doctor has said something nice about my leg or something. I don't know. I feel like I really need some something, some good news or something to give me a little bit of strength or something because I'm, I'm, I'm lacking it right now. Oh, I'll show you what I made today. Um, this is for Leanne. If you are on my Chronically Jeweled page, I may have put a photo up by the time this vlog goes up. I've sent Leanne a photo. I'm really shocking at surprises. Um, I'm great at giving gifts, but a lot of the time I um, tell people before they get them. Especially with jewellery, I don't know why. I just feel like showing people first. So, it's not cooperating with me. There's a spoon missing. So it says, you can't really tell... You can't really tell. It's crappy lighting. Um, it says just get on with it. I noticed in Leanne's videos, sorry guys, I noticed in Leanne's video she says it a lot and I spoke to mum because mum and dad were both born in England. Um, and mum said, oh that's a very English saying. So I thought, oh I'll make a necklace for Leanne. It might be nice for her to wear when she's having bad days. I never wear my own jewellery. I was just thinking, oh I've got a necklace that I could wear. Never wear it. Um, and then I made a necklace for a beautiful, beautiful friend of mine who sadly her two babies passed away. Um, and it says mother of angels. So I love making jewellery for other people when I feel that it could help them or give them some strength. Um, so yeah, but yeah, if you want to see proper photos of them, they'll probably be on my Instagram page, my chronically jewel one. So yeah, that, that little excitement exhausted me so I'm gonna eat my dinner and rest I'll talk to you tomorrow guys howdy um so I just went to my doctor I walked in 
which was quite nice not to be in a wheelchair um, and my doctor was very impressed with that um, and the CT shows as expected that it's still broken but it is healing so considering I whatever the medical term is I can't remember for shattering bones I had shattered six bones in my foot so it wasn't as if it was just like plain little like hairline fractures um, they were smashed so yeah today marks two months since I did it and it's been a long two months let me tell you it's I mean I still remember when I did it I still remember I don't remember the pain the pain was just insane but um, you know I remember all the drama I had with it um, I'm not sure if I mentioned on this channel the drama that I had so if I didn't and you want to know just shoot me a comment below and I'll tell you the saga um, funnily enough um, the report sorry my cats next to me the report came in for my um, toe because last Friday I saw my doctor about my toe and um, it was funny because when I went in today he said did you break anything else but um the report came in for my toe and apparently um apparently the report says that the toe is not broken but the doctor says that the report is completely wrong and the because the doctor and the radiologist both have said that it's broken so I can't escape drama so doctor said I can you walk with my crutches if I like I explained that I felt like I was ready not to use them I said I was finding it more of an annoyance now and he said he felt from what he saw of me walking he felt that I was ready to move on like to the next step so I can use one crutch just on my right side um, he said oh you could just use a walking stick and I just thought oh, I'll just use my crutch and then um, we went down to the chemist to get my scripts and I saw a really cute little walking stick for $27 so I bought that um, and I have some duct tape on the way. I stole the idea off Leanne actually. And I think Tara did that too with her crutches. Um, I bought some blue duct tape that has like leopard print with purple spots. And I'm going to duct tape my, probably my walker and my walking stick. I'm like a mobility centre right now. So I will do that when the duct tape comes. Hopefully it comes today because it's been a while. Um, and yeah, so that's the news. I don't go and see him again for another two weeks because he's on holidays. He said as well, he just wants me to, he said what it'll be now is it's just about waiting and waiting for the healing. So the moon boot's staying on. Um, there's no way that I'd feel comfortable walking on my foot without the moon boot yet. So I'm just practicing walking around. I'm finding, like I said, it really, really hard to um, walk around because I haven't for a while. And the doctor went on to Google. Sounds bad when you say that, but he went on to Google and he showed me photos of astronauts when they'd come back from being at like the space station for a few weeks. He said, look, they're being carried. They said, he said, because they haven't been using their muscles, their muscles have wasted and they can't actually walk. He said, you have to understand that, you know, you haven't been walking for six, for seven weeks. So, yeah, seven weeks I didn't walk for. So, so you need to remember that that plus your fibro and your severe chronic fatigue, um, you know, to take it easy. So yeah, I will try, see how I go. So yeah, that's my little update. I don't think there's anything else going on. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be able to walk now um, Just to do little things like um, To be able to go out the back where my like office is anytime I want to to be able to like You know if I feel inspired I can go and make a piece of jewelry Which I did that last night actually and I really enjoyed it um, Or just to go to the mailbox, you know, I had to wait for people to go to the mailbox for me which was frustrating because I love my mail I love getting mail so I was just being able to make food for yourself so yeah today's a good day I'm happy 
with the results of that. So now we just wait. Just wait. That's fine with me. I'll go play my PlayStation. So yeah, that's all for me. Um, I'm trying really hard to upload that Astralis makeup haul thing. My, I'm, because I'm doing it all on my iPhone, I'm just struggling with uploading it because it's just, my internet's really bad at the moment or something, I don't know. So yeah, hopefully that's up by the time this is up, whenever this goes up. So yeah, um, I shall chat to you all soon. I hope you're all doing well. Um, and um, yeah, gentle hugs. Bye. So you know how I uploaded the haul? The haul has been uploaded, finally. I figured out the thing, what I was using wasn't working. Anyway, so you know how I, uh, I uploaded the haul and I spent, I, I had, I got, sorry, fibro brain. Um, I, the, the value was 137 and I got it for 65. Yeah. So we, you know that. So I got an email, I just got an email from Priceline, um, which for anyone that's not in Australia, it's like our version of like a drugstore, I guess. So we have Revlon, um, L'Oreal, Rimmel, those sorts of brands. They're very, they're much more expensive though over here in Australia than they are over there. So for instance, um, Ta my American friend Tara said that, I can't remember what the price was, but like the Revlon Color Stay here is $36 Australian dollars. It's insane. So anyway, Priceline sent me an email saying that Australis, the brand that I love, it's one of, it is my favorite brand, apart from Chi Chi, I'd say. Anyway, they have 30% off. So what did I just do? Yeah, I did that. Because you know in the haul video how I said, oh, I wish I'd gotten more. Yeah, I just did that. I got more. But I'm going to justify myself. One of their found foundations was on special for six dollars. Six dollars for a foundation. So I got it and I had been wanting to try it. So I spent far too much money. Um, but all my bills were paid, so yeah. Can you tell I feel guilty? I feel so guilty. I feel so guilty. But just think about all the money I saved. You yeah, know, I still feel guilty. Does anyone else feel guilty when they buy things for themselves? I mean, if the difference with me is if I was to buy lots of little things and it, it added up to the same price, I wouldn't feel as guilty as buying a bulk lot of things at once. Does that make sense? So like, yeah, I could easily spend a lot of money on eBay buying $2 items because um, you don't see it tally up. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure out a way to justify my spending. If you've got a way that I can justify my spending, leave it in the comments below because, yeah, I feel guilty. But at least I'll look pretty, right? Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any recommendations on what you want me to film, just pop it in the comments below. Thanks, guys.